To solve the equation, we want to determine the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To do this, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. For the first step, we need to simplify the left side of the equation by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms. To clear the parentheses, we distribute three. Three times x is three x, plus three times two gives us plus six, and then we have minus 12 equals negative 27. Combining like terms on the left, we can combine six and negative 12. Six minus 12 is negative six, and therefore the left side simplifies to three x minus six, which is equal to negative 27. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. Notice how the variable term is on the left side. We need to undo the minus six, and therefore to undo the minus six, the next step is to add six to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative six plus six is zero, which is why we added six to both sides. The left side simplifies to three x. We have three x equals negative 27 plus six is equal to negative 21. The last step is to multiply or divide to solve for x. And since three x means three times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, we divide both sides by three. Simplifying three divided by three simplifies the one. One times x is x. X is equal to negative 21 divided by three, which is equal to negative seven. The solution to the equation is x equals negative seven, which means if we substitute negative seven for x back into the original equation, it will satisfy the equation or make the equation true. And let's go ahead and check this. If we substitute negative seven for x, we have three times the quantity negative seven plus two minus 12 equals negative 27. Simplifying on the left, we simplify inside the parentheses. Negative seven plus two is negative five, giving us three times negative five minus 12 equals negative 27. Next, three times negative five is negative 15, giving us negative 15 minus 12 equals negative 27. And then finally on the left, negative 15 minus 12 is negative 27. Negative 27 equals negative 27 is true, verifying the solution is correct.